Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Study English with Frank. And today we are in our last lesson in our series of people's job titles, their occupation, the work that people do. And uh, so if you're ready, let's go. I am a chef. A chef. And you might wonder, well, what does a chef do? A chef is really a cook, but a cook who has more education and perhaps more experience. They know how to put together amazing dishes. They'll probably be the head cook at a restaurant. And uh, so rather than being called just a cook, because he has this higher position, the, the managing position, and all of the experience and education, we will call him a chef. A chef. What do you do? I am a waiter. Oh, you are a waiter. How nice. What restaurant do you work at? I might like to come down to your restaurant to eat sometime. A waiter, of course, is someone who comes to your table at a restaurant and takes your order and then takes your order back to the cook or the chef, as we've learned. And uh, then when the food is ready, they bring it to your table and uh, they keep coming back to your table asking if you need anything else. How is the food? Can I get you a drink? They're there to help you have a good experience at the restaurant. And waiter is usually um, gender-specific to male waiters, um, male restaurant workers who serve your table. If it is a woman who is serving your table, they are more likely to call themselves a waitress. I am your waitress tonight. How can I help you? Now, because these days people are more concerned about being gender neutral, these terms are kind of falling out of use. In many restaurants today, when you sit down, the person who comes to your table are more likely to say, Hello, my name is, and I'll be your server tonight. I'll be your server tonight. And of course, server can be either a male waiting on the table, or a female waiting on the table, or someone who uh, may not identify with either male or female. Any of these can be a server. I'll be your server tonight. What type of work do you do? Oh, I'm a translator. Oh, you're a translator. How interesting. What language do you translate into? you might ask. Or, what languages do you work in? They might know several different languages. I know some people who are fluent in five different languages. It's amazing. They're very talented people, usually very smart people, to know uh, a lot of vocabulary in five different languages. I am a translator. What type of work do you do? I am a video editor a video editor. And I know this type of work very well. That's what I do most of the day, every day, is edit videos. Not just for this channel on YouTube, but also for the organization that I work for. And so I am behind a computer most of my days and evenings editing videos. I am a video editor. What do you do? What type of work do you do? I am a videographer. A videographer. And I understand this position very well, uh, too, because that's what I do when I'm traveling. I carry my camera with me, and uh, if I'm not taking still photographs, I'm usually filming with my video camera. And people might ask me, well, what do you do? Well, I might tell them I'm a videographer. A videographer. And then I'll come back from one of my trips with all of the video that I have 
have taken and then sit down to my computer and become a video editor. I am a tailor. Oh, you are a tailor. That's interesting. Tell me more about your work, you might ask. And they might be working out in front, helping measure people to make sure that they get the right measurements. And then they'll take the suit and maybe in the back room in the evenings and uh, make adjustments to the suit uh, so that it will fit the customer perfectly. I am a tailor. What type of work do you do? I am a pharmacist. Oh, you are a pharmacist. Where do you work, you might ask. And uh, a pharmacist, of course, is someone who helps us fill the prescriptions that the doctor gives us. In many countries, um, it's important to have a prescription to go in to the drugstore and you give your prescription to the pharmacist and the pharmacist will look it over very carefully. They might ask you some questions um, and find out what other medications that you might be taking to make sure that there won't be any complications by mixing the medicines. And then if they are sure that the prescription is legitimate, they will fill your prescription and give you the medication. And so a pharmacist is a very important job that people have, and they do have to go to school and learn all about the different types of medications and how they interact with each other to be able to keep people safe when they take these medications. What type of work do you do? I am a nurse. I am a nurse. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you work at the local hospital, you might ask? And uh, so many interesting questions that you can ask a nurse and the type of nursing that they do. What do you do? I am a librarian. A librarian. I work at the local library. A librarian is someone who... Uh, works at a library and organizes the books in a very specific way. When new books come in, they uh, put special codes on the books. These days, it's usually a computer uh, code that they can just scan. And uh, when people come and borrow books, they scan the books and uh, provide a wonderful service to people who love to read books. What do you do? I am a garbage collector. Now, we used to say garbage man. I am a garbage man. But again, these days, we're trying to be more gender neutral and sensitive to the way people want to identify themselves. And so we'll just find it easier these days to say, I am a garbage collector. I collect garbage. And uh, so this would work for anyone, not just men. I am a garbage collector. I am an author. I am an author. Oh, what kind of books do you like to write? You might ask. Have I read any of your books? And uh, so they might tell you about the, the books that they've already published and uh, how they enjoyed working on those books. It's a fascinating uh, occupation that people have. And there's actually very few people that are good enough at writing books that they can do it as a profession or an occupation. Some people might just say, oh, I am a writer. I'm a copy writer. And that's someone who just writes short stories, maybe for the newspaper or for a magazine. And they might call themselves an author as well. But usually this term is uh, kind of saved for people who write complete books. An author. What do you do? I am a bricklayer. A bricklayer. And this is one of those jobs on a construction site 
where they are very experienced at uh, making strong, straight walls out of bricks. I am a brick layer. What type of work do you do? Oh, I'm self-employed. Self-employed. And what this means is simply that they don't work for someone else. They don't work for a company, an organization, a corporation, at a store. They work for themselves. They're doing something. They've got their own business that they run. And usually it's something they can run right out of their house. Like my wife, Trucon, is self-employed. She teaches English, uh, both as an instructor on YouTube but also teaching groups of students online over Zoom. So she is self-employed. Self-employed. What type of work do you do? I am unemployed. Unemployed. And this is someone who is uh, not working at the moment. They maybe just got relief Maybe they just got laid off at their job and they haven't found a new one yet, so they are unemployed. They might be looking for work. They might ask you if you know of anything uh, in their field that uh, they could check into. And, uh, and you'll find people like this, unemployed. But it's not the nicest thing to say, so they might try and uh, make it sound a little better by saying something like, I'm in between jobs right now. I'm in between jobs right now. All right, well, that's it for this section. Now we can do our vocabulary drills. Chef. Chef. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress, waitress, translator, translator, video editor, video editor, videographer, videographer. Taylor, Taylor, Pharmacist, Pharmacist, Nurse, Nurse, Librarian, Librarian. Garbage collector, garbage collector, author, author, bricklayer, bricklayer, self employed, self employed. Unemployed. Unemployed. I'm in between jobs right now. I'm in between jobs right now. All right, well, that brings us to the close of our fifth lesson on people's occupations. We've we said we would learn a hundred. I think that we went well over a hundred, especially as we talked about alternatives that people are using today to be more gender neutral. And yet, you know, we really haven't learned them all. Uh, and uh, so we may have to continue this series down the road a little bit, especially as we might think about people's professions you know, when people go to university and they get a master's degree or maybe even a doctorate, they will take up a profession, uh, not just a job title, but they have a profession. 
They might be a biologist. They might be an archaeologist. They might be an anthropologist. They might be a philosopher. They might be a theologian. You know, there's so many professions that people go into that we just haven't covered. And maybe you could let us know what you do in the comments below. Uh, if we haven't covered the type of work that you do, let us know in the comments below. Maybe you're a nun. We didn't talk about a, a nun or a priest or a monk. You know, there's so many uh, occupations that people do that we still haven't covered. And so let us know if we missed yours in the comments below and we'll keep track of them. We'll make a new list and uh, maybe down the road we'll pick up this series again. But for now, we'll say so long. But I want to let you know, before I let you go, we're going to put all of the uh, vocabulary drills for all 120 uh, occupations into one separate video. And so that way, if you just want to study the words themselves, study the vocabulary without listening to all of my explanation and all of my conversation about the jobs, you just want to learn the vocabulary itself, you can play that lesson. And something I might suggest, some people believe that they can learn while they sleep. And so you might want to give that a try. Take this long lesson of uh, vocabulary drills on people's occupations. And what I'll do is I'll uh, maybe repeat it. I'll loop it three or four times. And that way the lesson can run a long time and uh, you can be listening to it and fall asleep. And maybe when you wake up, you'll know all of the occupations. Let me know how it works. I would be very interested to know whether or not you wake up feeling as though you know uh, all of these occupations because you've listened to the uh, vocabulary video while you sleep. All right, well, that does it for today. So long for now. Bye-bye. 